in today's video, we're going to talk about something that's like super common, but still somehow uh, kind of confusing for a lot of students. And that's um, four dice spots in the oral cavity. These are one of those things that like look a bit weird to the untrained eye, but once you know what they are, they're uh, really easy to recognize and even easier to manage. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so four dice spots, also called uh, four dice granules, are basically ectopic sebaceous glands, meaning they're sebaceous glands that are like showing up in places they don't normally belong. In this case, um, they appear in the oral mucosa where we don't usually expect to find sebaceous tissue. But yeah, the key thing to remember is that they're totally normal anatomical variations. Uh, clinically, they show up as uh, small, round, or slightly elongated papules, usually like yellowish or whitish in color. And they're about um, one to three millimeters in diameter. You'll uh, most commonly find them on the buccal mucosa and like along the vermilion border of the upper lip, although sometimes they might show up on um, the retromolar trigone or even the genital mucosa. They're totally asymptomatic, so like no pain, no itching, no tenderness. Patients usually don't even notice them, but every now and then they might pop up during a routine exam and uh, the patient might ask if it's something to worry about. And that's where like your diagnostic confidence really matters. The exact cause isn't um, fully understood, but they're, they're thought to become more prominent after puberty, which uh, kind of supports the idea that androgens might play a role. There's also like some evidence that they're more common in males. Prevalence varies a bit, but some studies say that like 70 to 80% of adults have them, at least to some degree. Now, probably the most important point here is the differential diagnosis. These spots can sometimes be mistaken for things like um, candidiasis, leukedema, mucoceles, or like even more serious stuff like HPV lesions or early leukoplakia. But the key features that help you tell them apart are uh, their sym symmetry, their distribution, which is usually bilateral, and the fact that they don't like rub off or ulcerate or grow. There's usually no need for biopsy unless uh, the lesion looks atypical or you're just not sure. But in most cases, like visual inspection is enough. And if the patient's um, a bit anxious or worried about it, just reassure them. Because again, these are harmless totally benign and like definitely not contagious. Now, if someone really insists on having them removed, mostly for like cosmetic reasons, especially if they're on the lip and visible when smiling, you do have a few options. CO2 laser, electrosurgery, or um, even topical retinoids can help, but they're usually not necessary. And like, there's always a small risk of scarring. So you definitely need to mention that during the discussion. All right, so that's a quick look at four dice spots, totally harmless, super common, and like really important to recognize so you don't uh, mistake there's something pathological. Hope that helped clear things up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful, and I'll um, see you in the next one.